Hello and welcome to this short video on HP IMC Management Platform. My name is Thomas and I will be showing today how you can leverage IMC's extended API to program your own mobile applications specifically for Android in my case today. IMC is capable of doing real-time location for your EndNode devices. You basically just enter MAC address or IP address of your end node and IMC will find out where it is connected and give you information like uh, IP address of the switch and name of the port where you are connected. With some other clicking you can get information about the device itself, uh, so what is the switch name, where it is located and so on. And with some other clicks you can check out what VLAN is configured on that port where your end node is connected. All that is actually available for you, not only uh, through IMC's graphical user interface, but also through extended API calls. And that's what we're leveraging in this demo today. So just imagine that your IT support personal and uh, you are uh, somewhere in the office and you are standing in front of printer or desktop PC. You would like to know where is this device connected to your network. And that's time where this mobile application uh, can uh, come into the picture. So uh, with a mobile phone, you will simply enter MAC address of the device and over wireless, you will immediately have information how is this printer you're actually looking at connected to the network, to what switch, how it is this switch called, where you can find it, what is VLAN configured on a port which is going uh, uh, from, this, uh, from this printer. You can even be lazy to enter that MAC address because typing it on a phone can be a little bit of time con consuming. So you may even consider that you would encode MAC addresses of your devices into the QR code. And if you take this QR code and print it to the sticker and place this sticker on every printer or PC you have in your environment, you will then be able to to easily come to the PC, scan the QR code without entering any any details uh, into your phone and you will immediately have information about how is this device connected. And why don't we stop you know, imagining things and move to the labs to find out. Okay, I'm in a lab so let me fire on this, uh, this demo application on my phone. So you can see that uh, here you're entering some communication parameters, uh, which is IP address or DNS name of IMC server, some username and password. I'm using admin here, but uh, you can create special user accounts for use with extended API. And you can even enter MAC address. So if you prefer to, prefer to enter your MAC address you know, by typing into the phone, just go ahead and do that and it will work for you. But I will leave this field empty, which will enable QR code scanning. I have prepared QR code with MAC address in a form of sticker, which is right now on my PC. So let's, let's try that. Let me minimize the keyboard, scan and search. Okay, here's my QR code. Oh, let's scan it. And here are results for us. So you can see that it's connected to switch uh, with IP address which ends on 177. You can see the device name. It's located in a REC1. And it's con uh, my PC is connected to switch HP H3C 5800 series on interface Gigabit Ethernet 2 slash 0 slash 37. And this interface is actually access port in VLAN 30. To demonstrate that it's really real time, then uh, let me open a scanner again. And now mind the yellow cable which is coming out of my PC. You can see that it is connected here to my 5800 series switch in a lap. So let me unplug this cable. And I will connect it somewhere else. Down here there is a HP 5400 series switch. So let me plug this PC to first slot, which is slot A, and port 9. So it should be port A9. We have a link. OK. And let me scan it again now. And here we go. So this time I'm connected to switch, which ends up in IP address 55. There is a different de device name, of course, for that. It's located in REC2, and it's 
HP 5400 series switch and we are connected to port A9 which is access port in VLAN 1. So that's how this application works. Okay, I am back from lab. So what's under bonnet of this application? It's not difficult. So uh, this is Eclipse Java environment to build applications and I have also used Android SDK. Uh, basically what we are doing here is that this is the graphical user interface so we are taking uh, inputs from that interface. In case that there is no Mac entered I'm firing on QR scanner by Zebra Crossing, so it's integrated with that. If I'm using QR Scanner, then I will get MAC address from it and fire on the separated thread to get results for you. So in both cases, I'm calling the get results in a separated thread, so uh, your uh, graphical interface is not frozen for that time. So what we are doing here is that we are preparing extended API call and this time I am using JSON responses. Extended API is very powerful because you can choose if you want to communicate with it using XML or JSON. So I've chosen JSON in, uh, in this demo. So I am doing the uh, real-time location, so here we can see that I'm calling really extended API and I am parsing response from that. Based on this, I am calling again to get some deeper device details. So that's a different uh, different call. And I'm getting details like uh, SNMP location, device type, and things like that. If we move on, then I want to have more information about interface. Specifically, I'm looking for IF index, which is very important for me then to find out what the VLAN is configured there. So this is what I'm doing here. Here I am passing, uh, parsing the JSON response, uh, and at the end of the day I have a I, IF uh, index. And the last one is that I get access port VLAN details, so it's it's a different call. So I get you know all access ports uh, from the device we're looking at, and then I parse it. And once I find the proper IF index, I just you know take a note about the VLAN, and I return back you know the complete string of those uh, findings, and then after that I've just printed it into your user interface. So Definitely, it's not a difficult task to have application like that. So, that's it. I've been showing today how you can bring innovation uh, thanks to IMC's Extended API. And this time I have taken a closer look into mobile world using Java programming language and application for Android. IMC, thanks to Extended API, is not only a tool uh, for manage your network, but you can also use it as a backend system for your own creativity and your own applications. Thanks for listening, and see you next time.